Hi class, we are now on problem number seven, and this will be the last problem that we're going to have on our notes for today. Make sure that you watch problem six before you watch problem seven. That might sound kind of obvious, but there are a couple things that I'm going to address in problem seven that you're going to have to watch problem six in order to understand. So problem number seven, we're also going to use our formula. The distance equals the rate multiplied by the time. Distance equals rate times time. Now class, on this one, I'll explain later, but let's solve for time. Let's get this t variable all by itself. And so if it says it's rate multiplied by the time, or we could write it this way, distance equals rate times time, how would I get t all by itself? Obviously, I would divide by r, correct? I would divide by r. So I could say that my time variable time equals the distance divided by the rate. This is really the exact same formula as this one is. I've just manipulated my variable or I've changed them around a little bit. So time equals distance over rate. The reason why I, do, why I did that, look at what it says here. Doug's average driving speed is 11 kilometers per hour faster than Gracie's. In the same length of time, this is going to be important. In the same length of time, it takes Doug to drive 308 kilometers. Gracie only drives 264 kilometers. So if the time is equal, if Doug's time equals distance over rate, and who's the other one? Gracie? Yes. And Gracie's time equals distance over rate. Just like in problem number six, if time equals time, if those two times are equal to each other, which it says that they are, then their distance over rates are equal to each other. So Doug's distance divided by rate is equal to Gracie's distance over rate. So that's how we're going to solve this one. It says Doug's average speed is 11 kilometers per hour faster than Gracie's in the same length of it takes Doug to drive 308 kilometers. So we know that Doug's distance is 308 kilometers. So for the top left part of our equation, Doug's distance is 308. We're going to have this proportion here. Gracie drives only 264 kilometers. So Doug drives a further distance. Gracie only 264. Gracie's distance, that's this variable, is 264. What is Doug's average speed? What it's asking for is what is the rate of Doug? We kind of have to go back to this first sentence. Doug's average driving speed is 11 kilometers per hour faster than Gracie. We don't know how fast either of them drove. We just know D Doug drove faster, 11 kilometers per hour faster. So if we say Gracie drove x kilometers per hour for her rate, Doug is 11 more than that. So it would be x plus 11. We have successfully set up our equation. Now we have to solve our equation. This is a proportion where the most common um, technique for solving a proportion is to cross multiply. This product equals this product. 264 times x plus 11. That equals 308 multiplied by x. So now we're going to use the distributive property. 264 times x is 264x. 264 times 11 is 2904. Plus 2904, that equals 308x. Let's get our, all our x's onto the right side. So let's subtract 264x. 
and we get 2904. That equals 44x. And then last step of our problem here, we got to get x all by itself, so we need to divide by 44. 2904 divided by 44, x equals 66. And we're talking about a rate, so we're talking kilometers per hour. X equals 66 kilometers per hour. Now, class, I want you to be very, very careful about something. What did you just answer? What, what does X equal? In our equation, our proportion that we set up, here's our proportion. X was Gracie's rate. We found Grace's rate. What do we need to find? What is Doug's rate? Or what is Doug's average speed? So what we need to do, Doug's average speed is right here. It's x plus 11. So what is x? x is 66. 66 plus 11, Doug's average driving speed is 77 kilometers per hour. This is our answer. In class, you need to be very careful on accelerated math because out of our A, B, C, D options, I guarantee you they're going to give you this, and it's going to be very tempting to circle that, but I promise you, you will get it wrong because it wants Doug's average driving speed, so you have to add that 11 because he goes 11 kilometers per hour faster than Gracie does. So I hope all seven of those problems made sense to you. If you struggled the first time going through them, after going through them with me, hopefully you'll have much more success on your accelerated math problems. But by all means, if you ever have any questions, please feel free to ask me.